Hi, this is Martin from Graphic Studio. Um, I've been asked by a couple of people to show you how to create a PDF, so I thought I would uh, do a small tutorial just to, to show how it's done uh, using our software and you use Photoshop. There's lots of different ways to do it, but this is a quick and easy way, hopefully, that you'll find useful. So this is an album that's been created. It's, it's ready to be proofed to the client. Um, actually, this is just a sample album that we've been using to show you uh, some of the shows of the new digital matted albums. So this is the same in all the versions of our software from, from the very beginning, so it's no different than it's ever been. So if we just go up to the top toolbar here where it says thumbnails, and click on thumbnails, we have a choice of two, fast and precise. The fast ones are, are smaller than the precise ones. So for this case, um, I'm going to hit the precise buttons, and it actually creates uh, small JPEGs of the screens, roughly about 1080p for HD, quality uh, but it does create them at uh, 72 dpi so they're not good for printing but but great for viewing on screen so just for the purposes of saving time I've already just created these about five minutes ago so I'm gonna go straight to my desktop it asks you where you want to save them and I've just saved them to my desktop for, for, for ease of finding them so here we are on the desktop and sample album uh, which is the album that I was show just showing you on screen and if I just select a few you can see that uh, is created thumbnails at roughly anything between four to seven hundred kilobytes, depending on what's in the images, and as I said, at 72 dpi. So if I just have a quick look at them, that's the first double page spread, second double page spread, and as you can see. So if you do want to proof on the web, then then you know they're uh, roughly around the right size for that. But uh, we're going to create a PDF. So to do that, I'm just going to go down and open Photoshop, and I'm going to go to File, Automate. PDF presentation. Uh, for those who have different versions of uh, Photoshop, uh, it's it's always been the same way since uh, early CS1, CS2, up to now through to CS6, with the only exception of CS5, where actually this PDF presentation was moved to um, the to Bridge. So if you go into Bridge, go to Output, then you'll you'll find how to create a PDF presentation there. So I just click on that button there. And we're going to go and find the uh, the files that we just uh, thumbnails that we just created, which are in here. So I have to select one, and I'm going to command or control A to select them all. Then press open. So they're all open now here in the dialog box. Um, there are two choices: either to make a multi-page document or a presentation. With the presentation, you can change the transitions and the time that they're on screen. But I'm just going to stick with the multi-page. One important thing I would say is to Make sure you don't have a white or black background, but you have a grey background, and you'll see why once we create the PDF. Um, I would also suggest keeping uh, the file name uh, ticked, or if it's on tick, tick it, uh, because that will display the page number as a reference point for your clients. Then we're going to press save, and we're going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it um, PDF DMA, Digital Matic Albums, and I'm just going to save it to my desktop just for us to find it. Uh, easily and quickly. Now I've got it on high quality print mode because as I've said to you they're only very small JPEGs anyway so uh, and it's going to embed them all in one PDF. You can change the, the, the size of it outputs whatever whatever you feel more comfortable with. You can also in the security settings uh, have it password restricted and um, don't allow them to print copies or there's loads of things you can do um, with a little bit of time and understanding of what you can do with PDFs. So I'm just going to leave it as it is and press Save PDF. So Photoshop kind of goes away and very quickly creates our PDF. So I'm just going to hide Photoshop for a sec and just move this out of this box out of the way. And it's put the PDF over here. So I'm going to bring it over and open it up so we can see what we've got. So there's our first page. And then as I scroll down, page three and four, five and six, etc., etc. Uh, now it's still going to be quite a chunky file if you were looking at trying to email it. Uh, even this one here with 26 pages is, is going to be roughly about 8 or 9 megabytes. Uh, I would suggest using something like Dropbox which has a public folder where you can copy a public link in, uh, from, from, from the folder into an email. So they actually just click on the email and, and then it starts the download of the PDF. It's a lot cleaner way to work. And that's how you do it.